What's up everybody? Oh, hi! How are ya? Now I love summer. For my brand, it is one of my favorite times of the year because we get to turn it up, do something different, and really take it there. So with this collection, oh my god, I'm so excited to unveil everything because you guys. So let's swatch, of course, bubblegum, this beautiful matte pink. Let's show y'all bubblegum. Bam. Bro, now you will see bubblegum that I just swatched. And you guys, I'm not gonna do one by one. We'll be here all day. Let's talk about it. We have gumdrop we, and we have cotton candy. Oh, we have tasty cone in that realm. So the first shade is called glucose. Of course, it is a pure matte white. I have never created one yet and I just love a matte, matte white. Of course, we have um, glucose below the um, eyebrow, so on the brow bone. Next is sugarcane. It is a very soft, cool tone brown, perfect for in that crease. If you just want to do a transition shade, easy. Next we have cake mix, which is a deeper brown that is very nice for building and just creating a perfect flawless smoky eye. And then next we have Ouch, which is a even deeper, more warm tone kind of camel brown color. I love this all over the lid. Next, next we have this matte shade, which is almost like a, it's like a soft orange tone. Like it's, it's different. I love it. It's called Tongue Pop and it's really great for in the crease. Very good for a transition shade. All right, next we have Cavity, of course. Now, if you have been following me for a long time, you know that I have had a lot of dental work. I have been haunted by my teeth problems since I was a baby you guys I've had like 30 cavities from a baby to an adult as you see the shade prick has a needle stamped into it instead of the normal JSC logo I wanted to do something a little different so I did different stamps for these corners now this shade is called prick so I used a needle so that color you can see it padded all over my lid it looks so pretty like it's such a vibrant color it's probably the brightest shade in the palette besides cavity now moving on next to it is I had to create a matte red shade. So cherry soda is red. It is straight up red. And I've always wanted to create a red shadow. I've been wearing red shadows probably since like literally eighth grade. Like my first color ever, if you've watched some of my story times, I wore a red eyeshadow in eighth grade to school and they called my mom like, girl, we gotta talk. And I remember stealing that rusty red color from my mom. So minus the cherry soda, we also have another one called fresh meat, which is a more dark, like mulberry burgundy shade, perfect for these mixing in. Like I live for this color. This one is actually under my lid, right under here, um, and then blended out with cherry soda. We have shade Coma, which as you can see, the medical um, symbol is embossed in there and stamped in. And I put the shade today all in here and mixed it. So basically I'm wearing a lot of these colors and I just went in. Um, actually, I didn't go in. Lipstick Nick went in. The first shade, hearse. Now, just like you guys saw in some of the makeup ads, we have a baby pink hearse in the ad. Of course, I wanted one little pop of color, but for the palette, it had to be the most pitch black matte eyeshadow. It is stunning, it's beautiful, and of course I'm wearing it right here in the crease. And you guys know a black eyeshadow, sometimes they're a little ooh. This one is perfect. Moving on, we have Angel of Death. This shade literally looks like liquid latex. It has a little bit of a silver sparkle in there and it looks so stunning. The third shade is called Eulogy and it is a, it's, it's not a warm tone gray, but it's the warmest tone gray in the palette. It's really, really pretty. Next shade I'm actually wearing as highlight. It is called Afterlife and it is a stunning metallic. This, I don't know, this is very wedding to me. It has a little bit of a different tone in there, a little more skin-like, and I have been wearing this highlighter secretly for months. And the sixth and final shade is called Diamond Ashes, a tribute to my beautiful dog who passed away last year. Um, Diamond was pure white, and she loved the reflection of diamonds in jewelry. So um, you guys see it is so reflective, it's amazing. This is actually what is on my lids today, on my eyes. That was a long reveal. Um, what do you guys think? This might be one of my favorite things I have ever created. Okay, so we'll be out very soon. Thank you so much for watching this amazing summer Jeffree Star Cosmetics reveal. I cannot wait to see what you guys think about everything. This collection, woo! I'm... I'm 
I, I'm deceased. I'm so proud of it and I cannot wait to see you guys all play and create looks with everything here. Summer officially starts for JSC. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.